Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Pokemon Gen 10 potential release date, Pocket Camp TCG thing that's coming out on mobile, and Pokemon Legends ZA. So we're going to be talking about when are these things going to be coming out and all you need to know. So stay throughout this video. So let's just jump in. The first one is trading card game Pocket. This is actually coming out next year. And it is coming in, well actually it's coming in this year, right? 2024 to iOS and Android devices. So it's not going to be on PC, which is uh, quite interesting. But it is going to be coming this year. I do think maybe summertime. But um, that's all we got for this game. There hasn't been a specific release release date yet, which is um, quite interesting. But let me know if you guys are excited about this one. When it comes to Pokemon Legends ZA, if you go on their actual website, 2025 is all we got. So, I mean, are we going to get it in 2025? Guaranteed. But, if you guys aren't aware, Nintendo Switch 2 leaks have come out. And basically, the game is most likely going to release with the Nintendo Switch 2. Let me know if you guys are excited about that. Um, I'm thinking... Because we haven't really seen anything on this game yet. It's coming out late 2025. So the new question. Pokemon Gen 10. Pokemon Gen 10 might break the 3 year cycle. And this is according to leaks from Centro. Who is a big person on Twitter. A.K.A. X. And I think we're going to get it in 2026. Not 2025. Because there's no way... They're going to have Pokemon Legends Z8 come out. I just, I don't see it. I, I personally don't see Pokemon Legends Z8 coming out in 2025. I don't see Gen 10 coming out in 2025. Because Z8 is coming out pretty late, it looks like. It don't look like it's going to come out early. And with the Nintendo Switch 2 coming around, which has been confirmed by Nintendo. I already made a video on it. Personally, I, I honestly think that the game is coming out. I think... Gen 10 is coming out 2026, while Legends ZA is coming out in next year, basically. And it would make sense if that's the case. However, 30 year anniversary will be in 2026, so it would make sense if Pokemon did that as well. So I think that is uh, pretty awesome. I also think with the Gen 2... Uh, we're guaranteed to have a Switch by 2026. A new Switch, I should say, by 2026. So, that would most likely mean um, newer hardware. And they would probably release a pretty solid generation out there. A lot of rain outside. Um, and I think it's good to switch it up. I think they need to work on Gen 10. Because, you know, if you guys aren't aware, you know, Gen 10 is definitely... It's, it's definitely the game. You know, Gen 10 is definitely going to be the game that's going to beat everything in sales. It's going to be a heck of a game. They got to they gotta work on it. It needs its time because everybody knows, like, nothing's surpassing Gen 10 sales. Uh, what Whatever they do after, you know? And nobody knows how long Pokemon's going to be around for. No disrespect. But they're going to need a lot of time for this game. They got to make it really, really good. So I think 2026 is most likely the time. Now, besides that, of course, um, let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're all doing good. I hope you're all having a great day and taking care of yourselves. Um, but that concludes this video. And to wrap off, Gen 9, to me, did a terrible, a terrible job in the end game. I, I feel like, Terror rates could have been more. I don't think there was much of an end game. I think when most people beat the story, they were kind of done with it. And a lot of people right now are all about sword and shield. I don't know about you guys, but I personally think that sword and shield is... I, I think sword and shield is what everybody's kind of doing now. I think that game had more of an end game. I think it had more to do. I feel like... Gen 9 kind of failed the end game, and that's why a lot of people went back to Sword and Shield. I don't think they had much, uh, like, like Scarlet and Violet, no offense, had so many ups and downs. 
However, I feel like the downs just didn't make the ups look that good. Let me know what you guys think. At the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got an idea of when some of these new Pokemon games are coming out. And I hope you guys are excited. Besides that, let me know what you guys think. Consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.